So let's go back to Western Sydney right now. I think we have the man of the moment. What? Or one of them. Ivan Cleary what? joins us. I know, I know. What? I there he is. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, oh, Ivan? Mate. How are you going, big fella? I uh, couldn't be better, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I'm feeling pretty good about life, actually. Yeah. <laughs> How was it back at the club last <laughs> night after you got back there? I mean, what a game. Yeah, like, um, it's just a, it was an incredible game. Um, I just still can't believe we actually won the game. Like, uh, our community is everything to us, um, you know, and just to come come back and see how excited everyone was, just the, like, the look on everyone's faces, like, the, how happy it made everyone feel, like, that's, like, honestly, it's, I just can't explain how, how, how good that makes us feel. You must be so proud, mate. I mean, everything um, that you've been through this season and also down by plenty against my Broncos last night to come back like that. Um, did you think you were going to be able to do it? Yeah, Queensland is kind of like, they, they fail at the end a lot of the time, so, yeah, we, we knew that they'd sort of falter. <laughs> That's a sledge and a half. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Oh, um, That's a G up and you know it. You I know. know. It. No. Of course, yeah, man, of no, course. Like, no, like, no, like, halfway through the second half was like, get us out of here. Like, it's, we're in all sorts. Um, I've got no idea how we managed to pull that back. Uh, so proud of the boys just for not giving up in the first place and and you know the sun just shone on us today and um, it was our day and yeah just very grateful for that. Um, just uh, on that I think I know one of the reasons why you were able to come back and that's your boy. Yeah. Um, did you, were you able to have any private moments with him and, and how did you view his performance? I actually said to him yesterday that um, if I married someone else he would been a pretty shit player, so uh, <laughs> I, got, I, got to, I got to thank his mum. That's brilliant. I got to thank his mum for everything that he's got, you know, because um, certainly not from me. Like, yeah, so proud of him. Um, <laughs> I have, you know what, he, he owes me that I reckon too. Like, I've driven him to that many things and made lunches for him and done all this stuff. All and, and, and he's actually now making my life easy, so God love you now. Yeah, it's love payback. You, it's daddy payback. Um, what are you going to do? I mean, you obviously absolutely. You obviously got you to bed early last night. Um, you've got up and you've had a, a buffet <laughs> breakfast to get yourself. To, have you had a thousand drinks, yeah. big fella? Yeah. <laughs> um, no, no, I haven't. Uh, I'm not sure how to answer that, but I'm. I'm actually just trying to, I'm, I'm about to sneak off, I'm actually backdooring it, like, yeah. that's what I was trying to do and then you guys got me on the way up, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going to have a try and have a, maybe an hour's sleep and then we'll kick in it tomorrow, so good times and I'm going to, you know, absolutely lap up every minute of it. You are, as you should, you deserve it mate, it's been, um, it's been an incredible <laughs> year, um, awesome for you to come on, um, just wonderful for your club um, and you as the coach, the man who brings it all together, I mean as much as it pained me. <laughs> um, it, it also, um, you know, you have to dip your lid and go, well done. Uh, congratulations, mate, to you and the boys and, and to the club in general. A terrific, terrific result for you guys. Hey, thanks, Carl. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, God love Penrith. Like, um, it gets a, some bad reps uh, from time to time, but it's an awesome community. And if we can make people's um, lives a bit better and yeah. make them feel good, yeah. then super stoked. So All thanks. right. Get yourself home, have a shower, have a bacon sandwich <laughs> and get back there a little bit later on, Big Yes. <laughs> Big yeah. round of applause. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Legend. <laughs> what a superstar. Wow. Yeah, How man. good. Well, that's awesome. Shit. There you go. It's a beautiful day and we are pumped up about working on this public holiday. <laughs> Where, would you, where else would you want to be, Carla? Lost the grand final, working in public holiday. Won the grand final, uh, working with you guys. Lost three grand finals, actually, on the weekend. Anyone else? It's OK, though. Oh, let's start with that great news. Penrith Panthers, who have done the impossible, pulling off the biggest comeback in grand final history to win their third straight NRL Premiership. Nathan Cleary led the charge to victory. His coach and father not taking any credit for his skill when he spoke to Carl earlier. I actually said to him yesterday that um, if I married someone else, he would have been a pretty 
player. So, uh, I, got, I, got to, I got to thank his mum. That's brilliant. I got to thank his mum for everything that he's got, you know, because um, certainly not from me. Like, yeah, so proud of him. Um, <laughs> I have, you know what, he, he owes me though, I reckon too, like I've driven him to that many things and made <laughs> lunches for him and done all this stuff, all, and, and, and he's actually now making my life easy, so <laughs> God love you now. <laughs> it was great for him to show up, it was a wild face-off, wasn't it? The Broncos yeah. left heartbroken after a dramatic final 15 minutes saw the game turn. Two rivals with one shot at history, the Panthers pouncing first. It's high in the air. A desperate dive to the line, sparking the Broncos to life. Just two points in it at half-time. Though the momentum was flowing Brisbane's way. Ezra Mam's sizzling speed, turning the usually unflappable Panthers inside out. His hat-trick putting the Broncos within striking distance of the Premiership. Down by 16 points with right-hand man Jerome Luai sidelined. Nathan Cleary had the weight of the world on his shoulders. His response, simply perfect. Dummies, Cleary gets through. Where's the support? Back on the inside. Leona with the try. Single-handedly dragging the Panthers back into the contest before delivering the fatal blow. The halfback's heroics completing the greatest ever grand final comeback. They make it three and the debate is settled. This is the greatest team of the modern era. A premiership three-peat, the crowning jewel in Penrith's golden era. We have reporters across both teams this morning. Jack Hahn is the lucky one soaking up the victory in Penrith. Jack, good morning to you. Fans partied all night long. All night long and forget waking up with today. Many of the people here in Western Sydney haven't even gone to sleep yet and they are ready to go all out here celebrating and they've been celebrating all morning long. There is no doubt at all that Western Sydney is the heartland for the NRL. Love or loathe Penrith, they do have the biggest following in the league and it was easy to see on the streets of Western Sydney last night. Many roads had to be closed as celebrations spilled into the streets. They were loud and they were proud. The girls and boys in blue actually called in to help the, the players off the coach and into the Leagues Club. They were there until the very early hours of the morning and when everybody was spilling out, the Today Show was here. Many people had some creative ways to get home, to get a taxi. Of course, they weren't jumping behind the wheel. We caught up with a couple of guys that had an esky on wheels. Take a listen. I'll tell you right now, it's been crazy. It's actually like the best... Best atmosphere I've ever seen. What was it like watching that? I mean, oh. talk about a roller coaster. Oh, first I thought they were going to lose, but they came back and they won. Yeah. I was actually, I was actually happy. So to get any better? No, no much. Not better. Words can't explain how, be how good the victory was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> perfect. Last hour on today on Nine, as you heard before, we caught up with Ivan Cleary, the man of the moment, and he was over the moon. We do know he's going to get a few hours of shut-eye before a fan event at 9am where everybody will certainly be celebrating, bar you and Andrea, Carlos. Oh, another sledge from Jack. And a few people who live in Queensland. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Oh, you're salty, I aren't you? No, no, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm, I don't know why... You There's no home. problem. Go so to the totally blues. <laughs> oh, blues. oh, it's doubled down. Oh, it just too. keeps going. <laughs> Who is this? Jack Hahn. <laughs> <laughs> Little whippersnipper. He's a well, rising star. Well. Who is that, Jack? <laughs> All right, let's, uh, uh, let me intervene here because let's uh, check in with Andrea, who's in Broncos territory now. Andrea, despite a heartbreaking weekend for Brisbane, footy fanatics <laughs> will pack out fan events right across the city today.
guys, kids these days, no bloody respect, is there? Um, but there will be some footy fans out today here in Brisbane, hoping there'd be something to celebrate. Unfortunately not. So the Broncos, they'll be at River Stage. Those gates there open at 9 o'clock. Brighton Homes Arena for the Lions. That all kicks off from 10am this morning. A chance to meet the players. But as I said, what a devastating loss. Adam Reynolds after the game last night. He was lost for words. You could feel that he really had the weight of millions of Queenslanders over their heartbreak, heartbreak on his shoulders there as he was chatting to Nine's team afterwards and, of course, coming just after the Lions lost the night before against the Pies. Guys, it's a tough day to be a Queenslander. You'll be right. Yeah, you'll be fine. Still incredible games to watch, Andrea. Thank you. Well,